The political ambitions of more than 20 senators eyeing the gubernatorial positions in next year's general election could come tumbling if a recommendation by the National Assembly's Constitution Implementation Oversight Committee, CIOC, sails through. CIOC in its recommendations point at what it termed conflict of interest by senators keen on unseating their governors while still carrying out their oversight functions. The mandate of oversighting the function of the Senate can become crowded you, don't, uh, you may not really say that there will be full impartiality and objectivity in performance of that oversight function. But senators, a majority of whom are preparing to square it out with the incumbents for top county jobs, have taken issue with the National Assembly's committee, yet again fueling the on and off sibling rivalry between the two houses. This is part of the usual charade, deny them oversight deny them this kind of a thing and deny them that kind of a thing. But you see, we have a National Assembly that has uh, <laughs> that is potential of anything. We have seen some of the decisions being made by National Assembly and some of the uh, propositions on certain things, including the gender rule and all the others that are a bit weird. Omar and Sang are part of the growing list of senators eyeing the gubernatorial seats in next year's general election. Their counterparts from Meru, Kakamega, Kisumu, Siaya, Kiambu, Kisi and West Pokot are set to plunge into the gubernatorial contest, setting the stage for a major showdown with the incumbents. It is this state of affairs that CIOC believes was a road deal to the counties and the whole concept of devolution. The country will not know some of the positions they take, whether they are driven by their, those ambitions or whether they are actually driven by objective and impartial uh, observation uh, or, or possibly uh, uh, position they are taking uh, uh, in terms of devolution. The House Committee's recommendation, other than rattling the senators, also raises constitutional issues. The Constitution of Kenya enacted in 2010 grants any Kenyan an opportunity and a right to seek any elective seat in an electoral contest. Implementation of the recommendations by the Constitution Implementation Oversight Committee, CIOC, will require far-reaching amendments to the Constitution and particularly Chapter 4 of the Constitution on the Bill of Rights. No law can be used to buy you from you know, uh, aspiring for any other position because Wanaiti will still have an opportunity to make that decision at that particular point. Senators argue that the proposal to bar them from seeking the governor's seats infringes on their political rights as enshrined in the Constitution as well as their freedom from discrimination as outlined in Article 27 of the country's supreme law. The senators claim the recommendation was made in connivance with some governors whose seats were at stake. Because most of the governors in the coming elections will, will be shown the red card. So there is a way in which many of them now will want to use every uh, possible avenue to bar uh, the, 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 any potential competition. And the senators in most counties are sometimes best placed in terms of equal political authority uh, to challenge governors for the positions that they, they, they sit on. The committee's report will be deliberated on by the House when it resumes from recess next month. Francis Gashore Monday special.